Python is an amazing choice for doing any kind of development and scripting, mainly because it's available on so many different platforms. And Windows is a major one. But thankfully, getting Python installed on a Windows machine is a breeze. So let's jump right into it. You can start by visiting python.org on your browser and then clicking on Downloads. Don't be confused by the amount of Python versions that are listed here. For any of the Python projects that I'll be doing on my channel, I'll stick with version 3.8.1. And my reason for doing this is because a majority of the projects that I'll be doing on this channel have 3.8 as the minimum required version. And if you aren't sure which one to go with, you can just follow along and install Python version 3.8.1 but otherwise feel free to install whichever version that you need. The great thing is that the installation process is exactly the same regardless of what version you go with. But once you're on the right version page, keep going down until you see the different Python installer files. For most of us that are using modern PCs, you most likely have a 64-bit version of Windows. But if you aren't sure, you can simply open up the start menu type in about and then open about your PC. Look for the system type label and you can check whether it's a 32 bit or a 64 bit. Let's jump back to our browser session. And if you have 64 bit, click on windows x86 64 executable installer. But if yours is 32 bit, go ahead and stick with the x86 one. Once you have it downloaded, let's go ahead and run the Python installer. On the first screen, if you're comfortable with the default options, you can click install now and just sit back. But if you're like me and you're wanting to install Python in a custom location with a handful of other options that you can change, click customize installation. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different optional features that you can manage here. For my projects, I don't need TCL, TK or the IDLE. But if you're going to be doing anything with GUIs, you may want to leave this checked. But all other options look okay and once you click next, you'll see various advanced options. I typically uncheck create shortcuts for installed apps since I do like to manage that myself. But more importantly, if you need to change Python's installation path, you can click on browse and then just point the installer to where it needs to be placed. One thing I do recommend is to try and include the version as part of your path in case you decide to have multiple Python variants later. But after that, just click install and then give it a few moments for it to finish. Once it's completed, you should hopefully be seeing a success message at the end. But wait, we're not done just yet because we still need to add Python to your path. Otherwise, you can't run Python from anywhere on your machine. And so to do this, let's navigate to the folder where Python was just installed. We're going to click on the file explorers navigation bar and then copy the entire path of this folder. After that, let's open the start menu and type in environment. Click on the entry that says edit the system environment variables. And once system properties is open, look towards the bottom right and click on environment variables. Notice there's two different path variables under user and system. Let's first change the user one by double clicking its path variable. Then you want to click new and then first paste the Python path that you copied earlier with a trailing slash at the end. After that, do the same thing for the second one, but add a slash scripts slash. Then we're going to follow the same actions for the system path variable. And don't forget the trailing slashes. And now we'll test to see if everything was set up correctly. So let's jump back to the start menu and then open the command prompt by typing in CMD. After that, we're going to run the command Python dash dash version. You should be seeing the full version of Python that was just installed. And for those of you that are wanting to use Visual Studio Code as your Python IDE, you might notice that VS Code is not going to magically identify where you installed Python. And if you try to run a Python file, it's not going to do anything because there's no interpreter for Python yet. So let's fix this by clicking select interpreter and then your Python's path should automatically be visible. So once you select that, 
you should now be able to run Python in VS Code. So for Windows, Python's installation process is very straightforward. Just don't forget to add that path to your environments variable because this way any external tools that rely on Python become just plug and play. And more importantly, it lets you run Python from any IDE or folder directly. Thanks for watching. And for more on Python development for Windows, please consider subscribing to this channel.